I'm going to talk about a bunch of stuff, but first we're going to get to the markets and show you everything that all the craziness that's gone on. And the key takeaway that I want you to know is I've doubled my crypto exposure. I went 2x from my 1 to 2. I took money that I've had in the sidelines that have been cash and um and instead of you know going away from the markets like most people have, I'm now I put that to work and going into the markets. And um, uh, so here we have Bitcoin, and we can see the big downturn that we've had here, and so forth on it. And for all things being equal, I'm looking for the 7200 range. Here, this is not going to make sense to you. This is more geometric. Let's go to the other pair. And there we go. And here are some of the lines. Now, the first thing that we'll notice back here is that I drew this for you in a while ago. And that was the butterfly-like event that we had that this completed. It found resistance here twice and just went right under it each time and held as resistance and then cycled through this whole range. Now the first thing that I want to go on is this right here coincided with the um, the 88.6 percent and this is the area uh, that you know under the 5,000 to this uh, mid 4,000 range that was very exciting to me. This is why I doubled my um, uh, my investment into Bitcoin. I even went over a little bit more than that. Um, not quite 3x, but over double of what I had. And the reason why it's short term, I was very confident that we'd get above the 6,000 level. And we've done that. And part of me just wants to friggin' hold and, you know, it, we're going up. And, and the major reason why is because the exaggeration that occurred here uh, left this, left many gaps to the upside, and left many areas that in the future will have to. You know, Bitcoin will have to trade back to like that 8700 area um, like this uh, 76 7700 area it's gonna have to go back up to these levels at some point test resistance um, now the big one the one that I'm focused on right now is this right here uh, back to uh, 7200 this is very likely to occur and we're almost there we're not too far away. And this range right here, the 88.6 to the 61.8, the longer range um, from the move that we had previously. Now, I won't go too deeply into that because remember, I'm keeping track from historically as well throughout the year, not just what we're doing today, but what we did in the past. And, you know, that's where uh, the numbers change and so forth. But anyway, the markets are dynamic, and we fell down all the way down to here. I doubled my crypto exposure under the 5K area, and you know it's worked out beautifully. Now I've also gone into other markets, as you you know I've talked about them. Um, I'm a big fan of oil, and it's probably my favorite of all. Uh, you know it's going to have some craziness where the Russians are probably going to try to press prices down. Uh, they can't do it for too long because it's going to affect their economy negatively under 25. So they, this area right here really represents uh, an area um, not only statistically but also uh, one of which you don't want to have breached for too long a period of time. And um, uh, one of the other things that I went into and then I became a buyer of in the 11 range under 12 was the... Um, your Royal Dutch Shell, which has like a six, had an over 16%, 16 and a half, I think at the time, um, uh, dividend yield, which is crazy. Um, but that coincides with oil, so that's a great investment. I know a lot of you, the, the, those of you who are, who live in the Netherlands, this is going to be a big trade from you, uh, for you. And, you know, one that you believe in, like it, it would be in the U.S. comparable to our, um, Microsoft or Intel or, you know, um, Chevron, I guess. No, Americans, we don't really, we're not big believers in energy unless you're a Republican, you know, crazy. Um, uh, but uh, 
uh, and it's just kind of ironic, you know, I'm also a believer in Tesla, you know, and that move that we had to 390 and under, um, I, again, I, I've doubled my exposure, not only in crypto, but also in, in stocks and so forth, because there's such great opportunity here. Uh, this yellow line back to this red line makes a great deal of sense once all the craziness dies down. Uh, Event-driven um, moves retrace the vast majority of the time. I've, I've seen this many times from the dot-com bubble to the 9-11 to um, the financial crisis to the Fujisaki, you know, when the, the tsunami hit Japan. I've seen this and I've traded them. And every time that we've had these event-driven market moves, I've cleaned up. They've been very profitable years for me. So this is not going to be any different. Or it's not likely to be any different. I can't say that. You can you can always, you know, trading is a zero-sum game. You can always get hurt. Um, but I've done very well over time. And um, I probably will do very well with this move as well. So we have Tesla here. Um, it was a fantastic buy, especially right down here as I stayed in. And I probably will be selling some of it when it gets above 600. I don't know. Maybe I'll just hold. I'm kind of in a mood, kind of like with uh, when Bitcoin went down under 5,000. I'm holding a bunch of it, and I'm like not really wanting to sell. But that 7,200 number, well, that's there. I have to respect that, and I uh, will have to sell some. So we're waiting for this area up here to occur. And um, I've got that bracketed out. And then I have a, a fairly good idea of what's going to happen from there. I'm not going to go on about that right now. But that's where we are in the markets. And, um, you know, I, I, let's go over BNB. Now, BNB was a great trade. Uh, I bought that all the way down as it went under $7. Incredible. So I was just lagging in. And I, I again, added more than I did before in the past I've traded this perfectly and it went back to 12 and above and then tanked under it's been a great trading range it's flattened out right around that $12 area and um, great trade if we go back through the history of this where I bought here back to the 21 area and above great trade right um, let's go back even further I bought this all the way down to the 16, 14, 13, that whole area that were tanked down to here. Um, I just kept buying and buying, even when it went under my buy area. I was a buyer, and I targeted the all the way up to the 24 and above level and exited there. And, you know, that's three great trades, but what about the trades that I've had on it from before that? So, you can see what I'm stating. I mean, um, we've had some great opportunities and things have worked out very well, you know, and uh, this pattern coincided with the Bitcoin pattern. And that's just trading, no matter how crazy things get out there in the marketplace, you know. And as far as, you know, uh, uh, the technology that we have coming up with the bot and whatnot, it's going to work out well. I'm a little bit ag aggravated and this is not to say anything negatively and so forth because I don't because uh, what the bot is able to do and how it works is the best that we've ever had but I still don't have the other component I don't have the leverage trading and that aggravates me I don't like programmers that go over and give me timelines and then they always seem to miss them we did that with the Cornex people and the Cornex people took forever forever to get the other side of the component of the trading and you know I have nothing what are my statistics what what can I go over and say one of the things that I want to do with this is be completely and absolutely transparent with my results so you can see how well I've done and you can match it up my trades to yours and to make sure everything is um, working out beneficially for us but I need both parts there to be active now they told me the start of April they're going to have the, the the leverage trading and so forth. Well, I need those two components, and you know I, I I think that everybody who doesn't sign up and join with me with these great trades that I do, um, even if they're just manual for now, you're stupid. But 
you're, you're going to have a choice. You know, we're not going to keep the doors open too long. So people are going to get on or, or off the bus. And I've got a whole plan uh, of what the markets are likely to do because of this giant move down. I now have a roadmap that is going to be very um, statistically likely to occur and it's going to be very profitable to trade is all I'm going to say in the future and going into happening, going into after happening. I have it all mapped out exactly what likely is to occur. And it's mainly because of this ridiculous move to the downside that remember, if we had the Cornex bot working from last year because of things are asymmetrical in nature, they don't happen when you want them to, they happen when they happen. And asymmetrical in nature, we would have closed out all those shorts to the downside and I would have hit all my profits. But of course, Cornex and their, their crap programmers and their just absolute bullshit got in the way of my plan. And that's the one other thing is I do not want management or anybody screwing with my trading any longer. Uh, so I'm going to be looking out for that. That's why I want these accounts to exist where we're going to have money. You're going to be able to see the results and the statistics of my trading. And it's going to be completely and absolutely transparent. And that's my goal. And it's going to be, I'm going to be able to take all the small trades that where I make a lot of profit off of simply because I'm rolling positions around constantly. I'm a really good trader. And, um, you know, I deserve a hell of a lot better. I want to say a fuck lot better um, than I, I'm getting uh, from the, the crap that I've had to deal with from these programmers or whoever else. Uh, don't get in my fucking way when I trade. I, I need to have an account. I need to have a balance. And it needs to stay. And my trading has to not be affected by crap from outside. And that's been my biggest frustration and gripe because I, I know that my statistics, even at the lower leverage, has been 150% ROI. All right. But what do I have to show for it? Nothing. Because of all the screw ups and all the uh, things that did not work in the past to have agri, you know, and that's going to be resolved. And uh, we got the roadmap, we got the plan, we got the technology working. That's the key component we didn't have in the past. We have the technology working, we just need it to be complete. Need that leverage trading to be complete. Um, outside of that, the markets have been fantastic. Uh, any number of things that we've traded, like I showed you the BNB, all the ranges, all the trades. Where can you find better than what I do? If I had to look at myself outside, as a trader and a service, I, compared to everybody else, I can show you the bullshit that these uh, signal providers, for example, give, uh, where they have target one, target two, and whatnot. But the the fact of the matter is, they're not making any money because of the fact that you know they hit their first target and they only uh, uh, sell twenty five percent or whatever it is, fifty uh, percent. But uh, then their stop is. Um, on the rest of it, break even or something like that. And the rationale winds up being that people lose money because when they do get hit with a full stop, um, that goes fully negative 24%. But when they have a win, it's only a percentage of the market move unless it moves fully up. And these guys are losers. Um, but I'm not. My trades work out. And the statistics of what I do are solid. Um, I just need uh, no um, bullshit, you know, programmers or bad technology getting in my way as a trader. So what we're going to have are these accounts. And you're going to be able to match up my results uh, to yours and the executions and everything. And we're going to hold the programmers accountable. And uh, the technology that they're using is fantastic. It works really well. I'll give them you know, praise from the sense that I'll be able to make my type of trades with a fair amount of ease. But, um, uh, you know, so that's been my grip. That's been, you know, pretty much besides the coronavirus and all this other crap that we have to deal with. And that's just been an opportunity to me. I mean, you know, turn lemons in, into lemonade. And uh, that's what I basically do with markets. 
Uh, Silver is another one. I bought that, and when it went down to 12 and under, I became a, I'm a silver bull now because I believe most of this exaggerated move right here versus gold is just JP Morgan manipulating the price so they can close out shorts and create havoc in the marketplace and liquidity for themselves. And you're going to see their profits go up. And how many times has this firm been um, fined for a manipulation of silver mainly? Ridiculous. They should be in jail at this point. But the thing, it's a cost basis for them. Um, it's economic. Okay, we'll pay a fine. and But we make, you know, for every $1 we pay in fines, we make $10 in manipulating the markets. Well, that, that's the sad fact of the reality. But anyway, this was a fantastic buy at 12 and under. And I went in on silver, uh, you know. And again, I loaded up on everything in the marketplace, you know, 2x and more on crypto and same on the futures and everything else. Cash moved from the sideline. And there's blood in the streets. Event driven uh, moves like this have a tendency as quickly as they drop, they have a quick, also a tendency to go back up. So I have a good rationale of where things are going to retrace to and hopefully uh, my profitability there is going to be pretty extensive because I've cleaned up uh, the past year. I've, I've done very well. And, um, you know, uh, as far as I go, uh, I've done a good job. As far as the technology providers that we're connected to and uh, a few other things, uh, I don't want to criticize anybody, but uh, they've done a shit job. So I, I have to be saddled with their crap performance with my good performance. And that kind of really sucks. That's what aggravates me more than anything, if anybody can understand that. Um, but, uh, oh, yep. All right, so I'm exasperated now. But you, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, so the pluses of this is that we have the new technology coming to the, the forefront, and it works great. Now, I just need the leverage accounts to be active because I want to be able to show everybody transparently. Do you, do you know how important that is to me? Um, my results and so forth. We have an opportunity here. We have an opportunity to totally crush it, to really show the trading. I can do all these trades, and I'm just chomping at the bit to get this rolling. So I just need this to get going. Uh, I like the technology. I think it's going to be great. And the trading, the opportunities that we have in the marketplace are just, I mean, it's like you're, they're handing me a plate and they're saying, you know, eat as much as you want. And it's, a, you know, uh, nothing but lobster. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's where we are. So what we're looking for in Bitcoin is very simple. We're looking for this bracket to come into play. And I'll have trades in the near future and we'll see where we go from here. Um, you know, and I, I'm kind of in a, a mood to kind of hold longer than to, you know, but I'm, uh, we've got numbers back up to 7,200 short term and we're going to wait for that to play out. And other than that, um, I will update you guys later in the week. Uh, I'm going to be focused on pushing the, you know, it's kind of hard right now because of the, you know, the virus, the COVID, the coronavirus um, has hit a lot of areas negatively. And uh, our lives, everybody, have kind of been disrupted and have changed a bit. And that shows up everywhere, you know. And I think it's most important people stay safe and healthy, you know, quarantine yourself, stay away from everybody. I mean, it's the stuff they're telling you is common sense, wash your hands, you know, stay six feet apart, stay away from, you know, try not to go outside. Um, if people followed that, what it would happen is the virus wouldn't be able to spread. That's the simple logic of it. And um, so I hope people actually listen to that. Don't listen to stupid idiots like Trump, who he wants people to go to work next week. Um, that's not the way viruses work. They don't, they don't generally um, listen to instructions from uh, higher ups, uh, <laughs> you're going to have to let people get back to work. Uh, yeah, I don't think the virus is going to really care. But anyway, that's where we are. 
Um, things with the technology, I, I want to be positive at, at the same time. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, I'm, I'm disgruntled because of, uh, uh, you know, think about it. I mean, I've, I've done a really good job, but I don't get any credit, basically. I get like zero credit. And, you know, the only credit I get is from those who recognize my trading and just my tr base trading alone has been very good. Um, and I thank those who s stick up and tell me that. Um, but I want to show it. I want it to be shown on the, the ledger, uh, just like you do in blockchain. Let's not talk about it. Let's see it. Um, I'm a performance-driven person. Uh, yeah, I don't have to talk the talk or whatever. Uh, I just have to, to walk the walk. Um, so that's what we're aiming for, and I'll keep you guys updated. Other than that, um, things are good. What can you say? The markets are great. I mean, I had the chance to double up under 5K. Hell yeah. And I think we see where we are right here. And I think things are good. Other than that, I'll update you guys later on and I'll rant some more. And sorry for the video being so long. But I've got other topics I'll talk about after, after we get the other parts of the leverage coming into to play because I'll talk about psychological resonance is another thing that I wanted to go over and explain results from when we started the service so you guys can see um, the timelines of where things you know and the uh, how that affects traders and and whatnot and big moves like this but I'll save that for you know when things are more developed later on and uh, things uh, quiet down with the coronavirus and whatnot because um, I know a lot of people are not really focused or, you know, on maybe on the markets as much as I am. Um, but, uh, yeah, things will develop. Anyway, have a great week, and I'll update you again uh, later. Talk to you soon. Bye.